Bitcoin has come up and hit a major higher term time frame target of $48,725. This was what we were looking at at that triangle target. And of course, in my previous last video that I made for you all, I was reminding you that also sits on a higher term time frame C, C Fibonacci level. You all know the importance of that for me. Uh, so when it comes to trading, when it comes to my analysis, you know, I'm using these higher term time frame levels, using these patterns, using Fibonacci's, which combined with my Elliott wave counts uh, to give me like high probability reversal zones on the chart. And I think I've been very transparent over the past few months how bullish I have been on Bitcoin. Undoubtedly very bullish, looking for higher, looking for higher, looking for higher. And one of the major targets that I had above us was this target of that naked point of control. Now we have finally hit that. Of course, I'm going to be talking you through the trade I am in right now what I am looking for next and how we be, can be trading the next few weeks in this cryptocurrency market. Extremely volatile. I love it. And uh, <laughs> I hope you are enjoying it too. Of course, we are seeing a bit of a downturn. And in my last video, I definitely made it clear I was bullish looking for this next higher target. If you paid attention, I'm hoping you took a short trade off of that target being hit because I'm going to talk you through and show you what we were looking at prior to that getting hit. So, of course, we had that higher term time frame Fibonacci, the low of that CC Fibonacci lining up actually with the monthly level. So we had the CC Fibonacci, the monthly naked point of control on the old triangle target, all lining up on that little pocket of resistance. At the time, though, of course, we had not hit that. So I was still bullish, still expecting that higher target to be hit, not taking any short trades yet. As I said to my team, all coming together very nicely now. Still in those shorts, not opening any new shorts here. Only I'm bullish long because I want to see my higher targets. Of course, that higher target, that monthly naked point of control. That's what we're looking at at the time as I'm reminding my team no shorts to be taken yet. Okay, fast forwards a few hours and we come up and we hit the naked point of control. And that is what I say to my team. This is perfect. We got the rise we wanted. Our bullish bias for the, for the months we're being bullish now has paid off. We've managed to take full advantage of all of this rise to the upside. All of this rise we've taken full advantage of. And now it's coming to fruition. We've hit a major target. We've got a great reaction off of that monthly naked point of control and it's absolutely worth the short trade entry okay it's such a perfect trigger because you come up you get an sfp even on the 30 minute chart you've got a swing failure pattern and of course this is a wonderful opportunity for the short trade we all know what happened next now this is my entries if you're interested uh on bing x uh 48,500. okay a little bit of a better one on bybit obviously my main exchange still at 48,700. so all in and around that naked point of control then we had the ccv target to give us a forty-five thousand dollar target and of course with that ccv target well we all know we've obviously gone down and hit that already OK, and this were my posts earlier from today. Still looking for lower, not interested in any longs, staying in short trades. And well, then we've continued to get this drop during the day. And now, like I say to my team, you know, the, the patience has paid off greatly. So like the patience paid off remaining long for the higher targets that we had, then that patience paid off with staying in short trades and not looking for longs, okay? So it's like, I remember, you know, everyone who remembered the important monthly naked point of control target at 48,725 for the short trade entry is having a very big payoff right now. And it's lovely as always to see uh, people from the public, champion members getting in, getting involved. I just wanna show you how many champion members took this short trade. Just check the average entries on all of the champions short trades. And there was a lot of short trades taken there at 48,700. It was just wonderful to see. If you wonder why Bitcoin's dropping from that price, <laughs> well, CC Paul might have had a little bit of influence here. Let's just say that. You can see so many 48,700 short trades. It's uh, pretty remarkable. Even people that have been struggling, you know, they're, they're coming in here, they're beginners, they're learning. But even people that have gone through really tough times still manage to take that swing failure pattern off the top. Extremely happy to protect their capital on this downwards move. Uh, yes, of course, wonderful. It makes me uh, very happy to see just 
shorts upon shorts upon shorts from the champion members here. Of course, it's a it's a, a very good good uh, results. And okay, that is. I actually want to share one thing with you here. And of course, uh, this is the questions channel. Uh, so whenever I post a chart in here. You can always ask any question as a champion member. And, you know, this was back on the 10th, targeting 48,725 next. Okay. For that very important monthly naked point of control target that we had. Of course, the next day we come on and we hit that <laughs> little bit of uh, happiness there. Would I consider opening a long? Not going to open any longs. Okay, people are asking me, what am I going to do here? And I'm saying not longing, not taking any longs. You know, I'm making it very clear right now. I am remaining in my shorts and, you know, looking for lower. <laughs> so, you know, these shorts trades going pretty nice right now. And now I want to explain what we're looking at next. Okay, so we've got this lower weekly level below us here. So what I would do here is come up on a, let me just do, do something for you very quickly. Um, that's obviously the top of the CC from the all-time high, by the way. Um, but here I want to add in, first of all, a fixed range profile and show you where we are right now. So we are back at around, again, this four hour hasn't closed. We've got another hour of this candle left. So, you know, this potentially, this four hour candle could close back up here, right? And then that would be a bullish test of that range point of control. So we've got another hour left of this close, which is going to be, you know, important. Uh, depending on if we get a bullish close and a bit of a wick here back above the value area high or a close below the point of control. Of course, if we close this below the point of control, this gives much more of a bearish scenario, okay, off of that, uh, because then that would be a loss at a level, right? And then naturally we'll look down towards the weekly, uh, moving on below the range. And actually here we are taking the highs of the range. If we don't get anything bullish showing up here at this major support, then yeah, we will be looking back below the range there, below $40,000. Okay. So, you know, I think I have been uh, very transparent, very honest. And, and the people that listens to the targets that I've been sharing with you, okay, have been able to make some very outstanding profits, right? And we have been very clear with the bullish bias that we had. Okay, very, very, very clear, bullish, bullish, long and chill, you know, wait for higher, wait for higher, wait for higher. We come on and we get higher. And then one thing that you can see that we do here, it's no longer then, okay, you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's okay, we've got the entry. Let's take the short trade, right? It's it's, you can have that bullish bias, but once you've hit your targets, there's no longer a need to be bullish, right? We become more cautious the higher we get. And it's all well and good being long and chill bullish. And then when you hit a target and you have a bearish reaction, even here on a 30 minute chart, this is what I love to use for SFPs. You can see wick above, close back down below, 30 minute chart. You can get your entry easily there around 48,500. Okay, and you're already from there down over 10%. So this is what we mean. Just remain patient, have your targets clear, wait for the reaction. 30 minute chart, pretty simple time frame to wait for a reaction. Even if you don't understand order flow, right? You can just look visually. That is a wick onto the level, close back down below. 30 minute time frame. My last video, which was just one day ago prior to this, reminding you all do not short yet still bullish, look for the higher targets. We hit that higher target. We end in a bearish reaction with a wick above, close back down below. You've got to be taking the short trade. We have been bullish for the last few months, yes. But when we see a wonderful short opportunity line up like that, we are not scared. We are not fearful. We are not bullish. In fact, we are actually looking for that short trade entry. We see the reaction. We take the short and or the profits pile in. And uh, this is what we do at Chart Champions. This is what I teach every single day on the charts. When I'm coming in here, updating my team, it's all because we love to trade. We understand the analysis. And, you know, if you want to learn about technical analysis, then that's what you can get in our course, right? From the beginners at the very start, maybe you're losing a lot of money. Maybe you lost money on this drop. If you lost money on this drop, you need to be 
educating yourself now. There's no more time to wait. We are on the start of a very big, important market cycle. If you are losing trades, losing money on this, you need to educate yourself. It's extremely important. So you got to do it now. There really is no excuses. So, you know, really, you know, from beginners up to master level, we'll get you up to speed. We'll get you all the information that you need to be able to make profits in this market. And then you, if you need extra assistance, right? Well, of course, you got myself and the other coaches uh, alerting you when we're coming up to major levels, the, uh, you know, the trades that we are taking. You can imagine, even if you are bullish, okay, if you're ultra bullish, and then you see myself and the other coaches coming in and saying, yeah, actually, yeah, this is a good short trade entry. This is a perfect trigger for a short. Igor are uh, giving some, I don't want to make it too public, but Igor giving some extremely bearish uh, signals as we hit that monthly naked point of control. You know, it's just one, of, it's just a confidence booster, right? You see myself and the other coaches all entering into shorts, selling spot all at the same level. Well, it's just going to make you check your bullish bias at that point, I think, right? <laughs> so if you want those little heads up, if you want the education, you can get it all via the Chart Champions package. And I know uh, if you give it a shot, you absolutely will love it. Okay, even more while we've been making this video, more money shots coming in from different champions. Just, yeah, it's been a, it's been a very, very nice few months, uh, to say the least. Bullish on the way up, taking the shorts at the high, and... Uh, yeah, this is how you can get these type of PNL curves. Look at that. <laughs> it's the PNL curve of six months. Uh, yeah, just that's what that's what we aim to get you towards, right? So if you want to see that, chartchampions.com. I'm gonna wrap it up there. I like right. You obviously got obviously got the live trading. You can come over here and watch Rivalry Crush, uh, a live trading stream, which has just as we're speaking come to an end, actually. So you can, of course, it's much like Netflix. You can come back and rewatch all of this uh, once the video's ended. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I truly hope that you managed to take advantage of my video a day ago, uh, explaining to be long up to that target as we hit the target. You know, I really hope that you uh, remembered the importance of that target. Check the reaction, see that it was a bearish reaction and granting a short trade entry. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in the next video and yeah, have a brilliant weekend. I will be, of course, here still on the charts looking out for you all cheers thank you and goodbye